In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MetaTrader 5 mobile app on your mobile phone to get you set up ready for trading. This is a tutorial for beginners to get started trading using MetaTrader 5 on an Android phone, which is free and super easy to set up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emily and on Mindfully Trading, I share my journey growing and developing as a Forex trader, as well as educational tips to help you along your way with your own trading journey. I've been trading for over five years now. I trade with both the broker IC Markets and also the prop firm, The Five Percenters, who I'll talk about a little bit later in this video. But before we dive straight into the content, remember to like, subscribe and comment below. Let's get straight to it. If you want to follow along with me, be sure to pick up your own phone and let's get straight to it. So first things first is obviously I have MetaTrader 5 on my phone. I'm going to just uninstall this for this demonstration today so that we can start from the beginning. And for me, that involves going into my app store where I'm going to type in MetaTrader 5. And you'll see it automatically comes up here and it is this one we want, MetaTrader 5. I'm going to click on install. Once that's installed, let's open it up and you'll be greeted with your terms. And it'll also give you the option to open a demo account, which you can do if you do not already have one. I already have a demo account that I've created with my broker IC Markets. I prefer that because that's the same broker that I use to trade live with. If you want to create an account with IC Markets for free, a demo account, I shared how to do that in this video above. And I've got a link to them in the description below. Once you reach this page, this is where you can enter in the name of your broker that you've gone with because MetaTrader 5 is the platform that hosts your trading account, but obviously you need to create an account with a specific broker to use MetaTrader 5. Pretty much most brokers use MetaTrader 5. It is one of the most common pieces of software to use for trading. And so I'm going to enter in the name of my broker here, IC Markets. Once you found that, it will take you to this page where you can enter in your login information. Once again, you can receive this from your broker. I already have done this earlier with IC Market, so I will enter this in now. Once you've logged in, it will load up your account page here. Wouldn't that be nice if that was a real account? <laughs> Now I'm going to go through a little walkthrough here just to share with you how the actual platform works on your mobile phone. It's really easy to use and quite honestly, I use this every day for trading. I do my main watch list and chart analysis on the computer, mainly on evenings and weekends, but I rely on my phone to trade throughout the day because I'm so busy. I don't have time to sit at the computer all day, but phones make it really convenient. You can hop on when an alert goes off and you can place trades, you can manage trades. It's fantastic. And so this little uh, hamburger sign on the top left, that just shows your account details if you want to log out and log into another account. There's also different options here if you want to check out uh, news and other features that come with MetaTrader 5, but quite honestly, I never use that. The main buttons I like to use are along the bottom here. So the first one is quotes. This is the main page that you will probably use because this is where you can find all of the assets available to trade that your broker allows you to have. Now it will of course load up the most common ones here, but in the top right hand corner, you can see this plus sign and that's where you can add any assets that may not already be on there. So I'm going to go into, let's use crypto for an example, crypto and let's add in Bitcoin. Now, once you click that, you'll see it disappears there and that's because you've added it. So to access that, you just click on back and in your main quotes page here, if you scroll down, it'll be at the bottom, Bitcoin. So any asset that you like to trade, you just simply add to this page. And the other button, the little pencil icon next to that is simply to organize this page a little bit better. So you can click and hold and you can drag to move if you want to put Bitcoin at the top to make it easy to access. Or if you've got a pair that you don't use, you can simply uh, press the bin icon and you can delete certain pairs from the list. Moving on, the next icon on the bottom says charts, and that is obviously where you access your charts. Now it does have quite a lot of features on here. You can move around your charts, you can change the time frame if you want to access, uh, say, a daily chart here. Um, you can even add some indicators, you can get your crosshair, you can do some pretty basic analysis on here, but quite honestly, I never use the charts on my mobile phone on MetaTrader because I just find it to be 
unnecessary. I just use it to set and manage trades. But if you need that feature, it has it on there. The next icon you can see it says trade and as well as the quotes, this will be the most common page that you use because this is where you can see any open trades that you have. As you can see, I don't have any at the moment. Shall we set a trade together now? Right, I'm going to go back into quotes and I'm going to have a look at your USD, but it isn't up there, so let's load it up. And I would like to see the chart for your USD, but as you can see at the moment, it's Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. So let's go back into quotes. I'm going to click and hold on your USD and I'm going to click on chart and that will load up the data for your USD onto the chart page. So we can just have a look at what it's doing. And at the moment, as you can see on the daily, it's currently pushing up, it's moving higher. So let's just drop down and drop to a much faster time frame. And seeing as we're going up, this is a demonstration, it's in my demo account, I'm not using real money, so I'm going to just place a trade for a long. So to do that, you can do it from this page, I prefer to use it from the quotes page. And once again, you click on your USD, and you click on new order. And this takes you to your order page where you enter in whether you want it to be a market execution, so that will execute immediately um, to buy in this case, or you can click on market execution and change that. So I may set this as a buys limit or a buy stop. Or of course, if you wanted to go short, you can use your sell stop or your sell limit. For this, I'm going to leave it as a market execution. And the next point down here is your lot size. So let's just make this one because my demo account is fairly large. And then because this is a market execution, it's going to trigger immediately. And in my case, I'm buying, it's going to buy at this one on the right hand side at the ask price. But it has this amazing feature where you can automatically enter in your stop loss and your take profit if you want to. So that once you click buy, you will automatically have a stop loss and a take profit set as well, which is really useful. So let's do that as well. So I've entered in my stop loss, I've entered in my target, and I am going to click buy by market. And that will go through straight away. It will automatically take you to your trade page here along the bottom, where you can see that you now have your order. It also tells you in the top left what your current P&L is, your profit and loss. And you have a lot of useful information here. So you have your balance, you have your equity, which is taken into consideration the current open trade, but of course, that isn't realized, it's not confirmed until you close that trade, which is what your balance is. It also shows you the margin and free margin you have available, but if you click on the position just once, you can see some more information, so you can see where you brought in, you can see this one next to it where the market price currently is at. You can also see your stop loss, your take profit. Now, if you decide you get in and you're in a trade, but you want to edit the trade, say that you want to adjust your stop loss, you can also do that by simply clicking and holding onto that. And then it will give you some options. So you can close your position if you want to close it early, or you can click modify position and it will take you back to the same screen here. So let's say I want to adjust my stop loss and make that a little bit tighter. And you can click on modify and that will automatically update that for you. Alternatively, say you want to close the position earlier, as I said before, you can just click and hold and click close position. It will bring you back up to the screen, but at the bottom you can see that it says close with profit. Obviously it could be a loss depending on when you press that, but at the moment I'm going to just click close with profit and that's it, we're done. Now it was a profit, so why am I suddenly down on the account? Well, let's click on the next button history and that's where you can access the history of trades that you have taken. So that's where we can see the results of the trade that we just took. You can see here your USD, it was blue, we won, we actually won £5.40, but if I click once on that, you now have access to the commission. Of course, you have to pay to trade, and the broker has taken £5.50 here, so although we were in profit, we were just 10 pence less the commission fee, which means that we're actually down on the account. Now, these are the positions. Along the top, you can see orders here, so if you had any orders sets that weren't filled, you can access that as well as deals, which I never use. 
But as you can see, it's super easy to use. I'm going to use the same app now to log back into the live account that I have with the prop from the five percenters. So now back on the accounts page, I can still access my demo account here at the bottom, but I've also linked my live account here, which I can click on and start trading from. So they make it really easy to be able to switch different accounts, whether you want to have both your demo and your live account set up in your accounts panel. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the five percenters are a prop firm. That means that you can trade their company's capital and you can both take a share of any profits made on the account. Now the five percenters offer a range of different programs available for you to trade with. I'm currently enrolled in their hyper growth program. I have experienced a few different prop firms. There's quite a lot out there. And quite honestly, I recommend the five percenters for a variety of reasons, not only for the support and also the features they have in their programs. They're very realistic, but also the fact that they offer a unlimited amount of time to pass the program, to pass the challenge. Most prop firms give you a deadline and this can make trading, which is already stressful, really, really stressful. And trust me, you don't want any extra pressure when you are trading. So if you are a trader who is consistently profitable, but you are struggling with a lack of capital to make money with, a prop firm may be the answer for you. And I definitely recommend checking out the five percenters. I have created another video if you want some more information and there's a link below in the description if you want to check them out for yourselves. Meanwhile, if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by smashing the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.